if there's one phrase that will describe about Suntech's uh, full financial year results, uh, my phrase would be interesting and confusing. But the key thing I wanted to do more of is to understand. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. So uh, my name is Min An. I use read use reads to build a retirement portfolio for my parents. Okay. Uh, recently, all my three reads have uh, released their results. So I'll start off with something first. Definitely, I've jotted down all the notes in my iPad. And at the end of the video, uh, you receive a, you see a screenshot that shows a summary of my notes. I'm just going to highlight uh, one key thing. Uh, definitely, uh, it's about the Suntech City Office and the Suntech City Mall. Uh, why did I zoom in into this particular port asset? It's because of the entire contribution. This particular asset contributes 40%, followed by MBFC, then followed by the Minster building, right? So since 41% uh, is like kind of like a huge uh, impact or effect, thus I zoom in into uh, this particular asset, Suntech City. Uh, what is very interesting, right, is that uh, despite a positive rent reversions and uh, positive or increasing office occupancy the second half of the revenue uh, went from 68.6 million to 65.7 million because uh, that contradicted what I thought it would be right because normally when you have a higher occupancy plus a higher PSF or a, yeah, price per square foot I would have expected the rental revenue to go up, but apparently it didn't. It, it didn't. So that's one thing I like to check with the management. So that's the first point. Then the second point is also the. Uh, the Suntech City Mall rent reversions. It has been coming down. So definitely, what you can see is that, uh, tenants are kind of like, uncertain about the operating environment. So. Suntech City won't be able to command a, a higher or improve their rent rental rates. So that's the interesting thing also. Uh, despite a decreasing rent reversions, the rental revenue increased for second half increased from 23.1 to 35.8. Uh, this entire occurrence of what I've observed in the Suntech City office and the Suntech City mall went against or contradicted what I what I know. So that uh, made me feel a little bit uneasy. So what would be the question that I want to ask uh, when I meet my management, I think it's more of like, how can I better interpret this, uh, you know, <clears throat> the passing rents, the occupancy rate. Okay, uh, I guess down here, I'll just put, uh, put a picture of the Suntec City office. And also if I remember correctly, there's also a Suntec City more uh, graph that I uh, want to know this uh, want to understand a little bit more of how they present this data such that uh, we are able to understand some that read even much better so this is what I wanted to uh, document down in this video right for Suntech full year financial results uh, as mentioned I'm also going to put a uh, I'm going to outro this video with uh, with some notes that I've written down and you find that uh, uh, it's added some value to you, uh, please comment one takeaway in the comments box below uh, what you have learned. If you have a friend uh, who's also looking to invest in Suntech City, Suntech Read, uh, you can forward this link to them.